less than 24 hours now until American astronauts once again lift off from U.S. soil on an American rocket headed for the space station. On board the SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket, Doug Hurley and Bob Binken, wearing new state-of-the-art spacesuits in a newly designed flat-screen rich spaceship. I expect us to have a, a little bit of excitement going into the mission, but also tempered with a kind of an extreme focus on being able to execute the things that are in front of us. This is a big moment in time. It's been nine years since we've had this opportunity. Lift off. The since the space shuttle was retired in 2011, the U.S. has paid Russia to carry astronauts to the station. SpaceX, now the first private company to take over the job, as NASA refocuses on returning to the moon within four years. My son is, uh, is eight years old, and so he's never seen Americans launch from the United States ever. SpaceX founder Elon Musk tweeting this time lapse of the rocket sitting on pad 39A that also launched Apollo and space shuttle missions. At first, former NASA astronaut Mike Massimino did not think NASA should hand over such a challenging job to private companies. Now he's a believer. I was skeptical but I'm not any longer, and I wish him the best of luck, and we need him to be successful. While NASA has veto authority, this is a SpaceX mission run out of SpaceX mission control. Right now, the only potential threat, severe weather here in Florida. Hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here, and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.